I think one of the biggest things that prevents guys from staying consistent with their habits and ultimately getting the body that they want is instant gratification and seeking pleasure. It all has to do with dopamine. So in today's video, I want to talk about how dopamine affects our fitness goals and our ability to stay in shape. If you guys haven't heard of Andrew Huberman, he's a neuroscientist. He makes a lot of content about dopamine and its effect on our performance. Highly suggest you check out some of his content, but one of his videos was talking about how it's not just this spike in dopamine that affects our ability to stay motivated and get things done. It's also this idea of our baseline level of dopamine, which pretty much is if you keep spiking your dopamine levels very high, what happens is your baseline level of dopamine falls lower and lower. So anything that happens after a very pleasurable event or a behavior is deemed not that pleasurable at least your perception of it is it's not that fun it's not that exciting and so that impairs your ability to stay motivated on the things that you need to do how does this relate to fitness well let me give you an example let's say that you're in the best shape of your life ripped out of your mind all your habits are on point and then one day you decide to have a cheat meal large pizza big bowl of ice cream and as you're eating it, you're having the time of your life. Your dopamine is spiked very high, but you know the party has to come to an end because you're gonna get back on your meal plan. So let me ask you, how hard is it gonna be to undo that damage or burn the calories that you had during that cheat meal? It probably won't be that hard. You might have to do some cardio, but all in all, not too bad. But is that all that you have to worry about? Is that all that's going on or is there something else? I think there's something deeper and it has to do with dopamine because when we give in to instant gratification, it makes it difficult to stay consistent with our fitness plan. When we keep spiking our dopamine with highly pleasurable things, eating consistent meal preps is that much more difficult to do. People would ask me, why do you keep eating chicken and rice? Don't you get tired of eating the same things over and over? Even I would question myself from time to time, why do I keep eating the same things? And I've come to learn that it's because it helps me stay consistent with the things that I have to eat. Like I only eat ice cream a handful of times a year. Not that I don't like ice cream, I think it's delicious. I don't avoid ice cream because it has a lot of calories or it doesn't fit my macros. Those are short-term consequences. The reason why I avoid ice cream is because I've trained myself to turn down instant gratification and quick pleasures. And that in turn helps me stay consistent with my long-term goals. See, it's not just the short-term consequences that we have to worry about in any behavior. When you go out drinking, the hangover sucks, but you'll get over it pretty quickly. I mean, depending on how old you are, but it's not just the hangover. It's not just the empty calories or the fact that you ate something that didn't fit your macros. What happens after that? Dr. Huberman talks about this baseline level of dopamine keeps falling and falling. Well, what happens if after you do something very pleasurable, you try to get back on track with, I guess, the more boring stuff because your fitness goals are gonna have a lot of boring habits. The key is we have to derive pleasure from doing the boring activities. So just some of the things that have helped me, I guess, control my dopamine is I switched my phone to black and white and I also have a little screen time widget there as a reminder of just how much time I'm wasting on my phone. But looking at your phone with all the colors and all the cool content that you see on YouTube, when I look at it in black and white, it's not that tight. I mean, nothing against the people that make content, but it just doesn't stimulate you as much. So turning your screen black and white is a great tip to immediately like lower your screen time but also things like going out in nature more for a walk, meditating, journaling, reading books that will help set you up for your future. These are things that people would consider to be boring, but the payoff is just longer, right? It's this idea of not doing what necessarily feels good in the moment, but delaying that gratification for a payout later and simply pursuing a challenging goal that in and of itself gives us pleasure and releases dopamine, but it doesn't compare to these huge spikes that we get from doing the negative vices. Adult content. We have got to stop watching the websites. If you're wondering how that has anything to do with your fitness goals, 
it has everything to do with it. If you stop releasing your energy to that stuff and you retain and you channel that in the gym, you will turn into a beast. People will start asking you, what are you on? Because they will see the changes even though you don't see the changes necessarily in yourself. But the amount of energy that you can put into other things in your life, and it comes down to being able to derive pleasure from the quote unquote boring activities. I can't take full credit for how my life has improved. I put God first because it's by the grace of God that I've been able to change my life. I've put in the work, but I believe that my spirituality, the Holy Spirit has put me in a position where I've been able to completely turn my life around. And when I look back at the things that I've changed, it all has to do with removing instant gratification. That's all it comes down to you guys. But anyways, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up or share it with someone you know who needs to hear this message. I appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see ya.